Welcome to Vancouver Business Network, where entrepreneurs learn, network, and grow. I am Roger Killen, the organizer. This talk is brought to you by Envision Coworking, where you'll enjoy a beautiful space and a community of great, creative, and supportive people. Our speaker this evening is Michael Tranmer. Michael is the coach's coach. His signature program, The Complete Coach, guides new coaches to get clarity on their message, develop their programs, and land their first clients. Michael's greatest leadership strength is his ability to engineer clarity for his clients. Vancouver Business Network members and most welcome guests, it's now time for you to put your hands together and give Michael Tranmer a warm, warm VBN welcome. Thank you. Yay. Not boo. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Grateful to be here. Grateful for all of you coming out this evening. Grateful to learn more about you in the round table earlier. One of the things that Roger mentioned in the opening about engineering clar clarity, one of the things that I help people do. Um, I believe one of the comments in the back was, you know, as coaches, and I'm gonna help you all see that you are all coaches. I think most of us can, can agree to that to some extent. But often the thing that we are great at, we're not good at applying to ourselves. And I am I'm guilty of this all, all over the place. I have all these different blind spots that I see in my world and that's why I'm so one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about coaching and why it has made a difference in in my world above everything grateful for everyone uh, battling the extra traffic to get here tonight and here to have a fun have fun and learn a couple things anybody know Joe Dispenza such a fan of Joe Dispenza if you're not I encourage you to to explore him if you want a new outcome, you have to break the habit of being yourself and reinvent a new self. Does that quote resonate with anyone in the room? Has anyone gone through a transformation of sorts in, in their world? Yes, absolutely. The, the theme or the message that, that I want to, to get across tonight is that that transformation, that shift, whether it's personal or business or physical even, that you have gone through, that experience, that knowledge, that can be a real gift to share with other people. And you can use this life experience that you have, whether you have the gray hair or you shaved it off this morning from your chin like, like I did, you can use this experience and this knowledge to help change other people's lives. I was talking with someone last week and uh, actually at, uh, at Toastmasters on Wednesday and one of the parts of the talk that I was giving, we, I asked everyone like, who here, I'll ask you all now, who here wants to change the world for the better? A couple. Who here recognizes that that is challenging? The beautiful thing with coaching and, and mentorship and all the different types of avenues that are linked to that is when you are working with someone or a group of people, and you impact in them and change them, and we heard a couple examples about that before, you actually change their world. And when you break it down into bite-sized pieces like that, it's just another reason why coaching and mentorship can be so impactful. A little bit more about me, I've helped other people launch their own coaching businesses as we've talked about it before, but just like a lot of people, perhaps a couple people that are in the audience tonight are watching online, when I far, first got into it, I, I resisted, I resisted, I'm, I'm quite stubborn still. I resisted, I resisted because uh, I didn't think I could do it. I was like, there's no way, I'm, I'm not a coach, even though I'd been through some things and learned a couple things, but I resisted and I eventually got over that. And this is, these are these experiences that I've been able to enjoy all over the last couple years speaking on stages, telling my story, working with other people, going to amazing events, meeting, meeting incredible famous people, uh, traveling and, and working remotely on, on my schedule, living that life of freedom, but also impacting and doing great work at the same time. And the reason I show these photos and the reason I mentioned that earlier is just to show that 
help you see where, where I started, where I came from, where I was also in a place where oh, there's, there's no way that I can do this and I can start this. But through the help of a coach of my own, I was able to push through and, and get to this place. But why coaching? And we have quite a few coaches in the room, which is great. And I, despite my good and bad experiences with, with coaches of, of my own, I'm a firm believer in, in coaching that can really help us accelerate our growth and our evolution and our business. But, but why coaching? The thing about coaching is, and especially since the, the start of 2020, it's been a little bit of a wild start to the year. Could we all agree with that? We've had, had planes shot out of the sky. We've had entire continents on fire. We've had sports icons perish in an instant. We have a, a huge disruption of, of, of traffic just blocks from us because people are so passionate about, about these issues going on in the world right now. So there's a lot going on. And one of the things that I've found is that, that, that people are really looking for more. They've taken all these experiences that are going on in the beginning in 2020 and they want more. They don't want more things or stuff or possessions or, or apps on their phone or notifications. No, thank you. But they want more out of life because they're starting to see from all these events that are going on that the life is really precious and it can be taken from us in an instant. And my thesis that I want to propose to you is that this more can, can come from coaching. People want this more meaning. They want the more and more purpose as well. And when you get into coaching, it's something that can be highly rewarding and satisfying. Definitely some people in the room who have, have felt that before. Why coaching? Because you can design a business that fits your lifestyle. Anybody here like to travel to warm places, especially during 67 days or whatever we just had of, of rain? Which is great weather for, for editing books, by the way. Great. I'm, so, I'm so grateful for that. But this, this coaching, you can, you can use this if you do a lot of it online, if you create online programs, if you create courses, you can still travel. You know, this day and age with the internet, it's, it's in most places, and you can still continue to do the work. I, I've done this. I've, one of my dreams was always to, to work from the beach. And I've done that. I've taken a bunch of calls from beaches here in Vancouver. I've done it throughout Southern California. I've done it in Central America. And this is possible. That's Tony. I'm a big Tony fan. I'm a big Tony fan. But why coaching? Because coaching, once you get into it, it kind of locks you into this, this personal growth and this lifelong learning trajectory. When we're, when we're coaching and we're helping other people, we can only take them to the, to the level that we've gone, whether that's in our business or our mindset or our our physical body even we can only help people as far as we have evolved and when you start helping and you start mentoring and you start coaching people and you really see their lives changing you want to keep going so what that means you have to as well keep on evolving and keep learning and keep whether it's about business or whatever aspect it may be whether it's about mental health whatever that could be you want to keep learning and you keep learning and you keep evolving and for me this has been one of the the absolute treasures of, of getting into this coaching world. You'll hear a little bit uh, about my story in a bit, but before my background's in engineering and I worked for over a decade where I really felt really stagnant. I really felt like I wasn't moving, I wasn't learning, I wasn't evolving. But then ever since getting into this world, I've, I've, I've literally felt like I've learned more and I've evolved more over the last couple of years than, than I did an entire decade before. And that feels great. It feels really empowering. Why coaching? Because coaching you is a perfect avenue to leave a legacy for all that you've learned, all the challenges that you have been through, everything that you've learned from putting together events. Like there is a lot of knowledge that is within a lot of us and that by passing that on, it's a beautiful way to leave the legacy. And like I mentioned earlier on, you can literally change somebody's life one client at a time. 
Use your life experiences to transform the lives of others. The best coaches aren't always the best players. Who is a hockey fan? Who is with me, Toronto Maple Leaf fan? Oh, wow. We're doing good. There's hope. Who remembers a couple years ago when the Washington Capitals won the Stanley Cup? Yeah, it was, it was cool. It was amazing. But they had been trying for so many years, and they had gotten so close. And Ovechkin, the captain, he, he, would, he would blow everyone away during the season, and then they just never had it during the playoffs. Do you know one of the main reasons why they won the Stanley Cup that year? Here's a hint. It, it has to do with coaching. He got a coach. Do you know who helped the Washington Capitals that year that they won the Stanley Cup? And Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins worked with the Washington Capitals throughout that year. And, they, and he helped get in Ovechkin's head to help him get over the block of where his limits were in hockey. And Tony Robbins, i never seen him skate, but <laughs> he'd be a big boy. He'd be a big boy on skates. But he's not the best hockey player. I am guaranteed of that. But he was the exact perfect coach for that situation. And people that I have helped start their businesses as well, I, I, I don't know. I know a couple things about what they do, but I don't need to know everything. I'm just like, you don't need to know everything about who you're coaching and mentoring, but if you have that skill to help them overcome their blocks and their fears, you can be a very powerful coach. These numbers are actually from Tony as well. The numbers speak just the self-education, the coaching industry right now, it's $355 million a day. Pretty, pretty solid. But the most important part is that this is forecasted to triple over the next five years. So it's a growing industry. What's the best thing to do? Yes, sir. Why would it triple? Why would it triple? Because it's people are recognizing the, the real impact of coaching in all these different avenues right now. Before, you know, life coaching and business coaching to an extent wasn't as impactful 20, 30 years ago as it, as it is now when, when Tony and all those other guys started the industry. Best strategy if you are interested or people are interested in adding to their ex existing business or creating a new business is to, is to just start. And, and we'll talk about that a little bit later as well before things do get oversaturated. Get paid to, to share your knowledge and make a, make a massive impact in that way. This is a quote from, from one of my clients, Nicole. I finally feel like I'm living in alignment with my purpose. The beautiful thing about coaching is when you can help people get over their blocks, get out over their challenges, get over their fears, and get more in alignment with their, with their lives, and you get a text message like this, that is so rewarding for you. And let me tell you, not all the messages are like this. It's not all glory. But if you are looking for, for that more that I talked about in the beginning, and you put yourself out there and you show up as a confident, firm leader, these are the kind of messages that that you get. Coaching is so great, why aren't more people doing it? Because a lot of people are afraid. A lot of people are afraid to, to step up and share their knowledge and to call themselves a coach. You know, I, I myself, I don't really like to, to say coach, actually, because it, I find it really pigeonholes people. And if you start the conversation with that, they're like, oh, I don't need a coach, right? You know, so I don't, I don't often encourage people to, to say coach. I say more about how you help people, right? But whatever you call it, people are, are afraid to start. People are afraid to put themselves out there. And this fear of failure is really holding them back from, from the dreams that they have of creating an impact or traveling or using their knowledge to, to help others. This is how I got into coaching. This is my story, and we heard a little bit about it in the beginning. But this, this photo, this, this photo, which is painful to look at, was about two years ago. About two years ago, I took that photo in Victoria when I was there. 
And my journey to coaching actually started about six months before that in, in November 2017. I was on a work trip for, for engineering at the time. I was down in California. And I decided to, to stay a couple extra days and go surfing with my buddies. And all the while I was there, I, was, I, was, I, was, I had this bad feeling. I had been reaching or texting and, and reaching out to my wife and, and calling her. But she had, didn't get back to me for, for half a day or sometimes a day at, at a time. And that wasn't normal. And we, uh, we had been going through a little bit of a, a tough spell over the previous months before that. And we had, as you heard earlier, like we had a great relationship. We got married in Whistler, went to Maui. But over the years, we kind of settled. We kind of got comfortable in our relationship. And we slowly started to drift apart and develop different dreams. But still, I just thought it was a, was a rough patch and we were, everything was going to be okay. After that trip from California, I came home to Vancouver on a Tuesday night, just like this, back in November 27, 2017. And I'll never forget the moment. It was about 10 o'clock at night, so getting late. And, and I opened the door to our condo, just down the street on West 7th. And I'd expected her to, to be in the bed waiting for me. But instead, I opened the door and I saw that, that she had put herself to bed on the couch out in the living room. And I knew in that moment that, that something had shifted while I was away. And the next day she told me that she was no longer in love with me. And the day after that, she moved out. And so our relationship of 12 years and all the dreams that we collectively did have still, they were gone in an instant. And I had this, this blank canvas that I didn't know what to do with. I didn't know what to put on, and I didn't want it, but that's what I had. November 2017 was the hardest month of my life. I spent a lot of rainy nights walking around Fairview with my hood up, just listening to the music, crying it out. I spent a lot of nights in that same condo, lying on the, on the carpet, staring up at the skylight overhead, just watching the rain come down. But I was at my rock bottom, but I knew I wasn't going to stay there. There was no way. As much as it hurt that something external had happened, I knew that I could generate whatever I needed to to pick myself back up. So I slowly started listening to podcasts about getting happy again. I started reading books, and that's where Tole and Joe Dispenza came in about how to change my mindset. I, I started reaching out to friends and actually listening to what they had to say for the first time, really, ever. And I made a lot of progress, and I was, I was, I was moving forward, and I was still having a lot of these, these painful thoughts, but at the same time, I was having these real moments of presence and clarity that were, that were beautiful. So I was having this pain match with, with this beauty, and I was really up and going up and down. And that's, I have a tattoo on my arm, it's a wave of that exact same time. But four or five months went by of that, and, and I was like, I'm tired of these rock bottoms. I want to stay on the top of the wave. And that's when, the th through the glory of the internet and Instagram, I found my first coach, and I hired her. Sent more money than I had ever sent to uh, a stranger over the internet in my life. But I trusted. I trusted, because I had gotten to know her and I trusted her and I, her authenticity. And instantly, within weeks, things had changed. I had, she helped me shed that victim mindset of, of what had happened to me and reframe it in my mind to see that this happened for me. This was an opportunity to learn and grow from this. I started to get clarity on my goals. I started to get clarity on who I was. I was never doing this. I was a quiet engineer sitting in a cubicle. For a decade. That wasn't me. This is me. I had to find this. And then I started sharing. I started sharing what I was doing with other people. I started sharing online. I started to grow a following. And it felt really good, even better, 
to do that, to help and inspire other people. I never had that in engineering either. I was never making that difference I wanted to make. Fast forward a couple months, I'm traveling through Central America, still trying to piece things together. And you know, she had put that, planted that seed a while ago that you too can motivate and inspire people. You can help them through your challenges based on what you have gone through. And so I did. I started the website and I started working with clients. And then so began the next journey of, of building a business and becoming an entrepreneur going from the corporate world. Fast forward another bit after that, and now that is too where I specialize in helping make that, people make that transition from, from the corporate and starting their own coaching business. Because I know each one of the fears and doubts that, that come up because I had, I had them all. And this, so here's a shot right around the time when I launched my business. This is in, in Costa Rica and Santa Teresa. And I like that picture a lot more than the one before. This was taken just over um, last year, just a group that I put together, helping them launch their businesses. And it's a, it's a beautiful picture. It's everyone smiling. I was on, on a call with the gentleman underneath me today. But all these guys were in the same, the same sort of boat. They had been through something. They had something they wanted to give back. And, but they had a lot of fear about stepping up and, and doing that. And they've all had varying degrees of success, but they've all put themselves out there and started programs helping other people. This is, this is Cindy. She's, she's, a, she's a rock star. She was, she, was, she was a quiet person before we started working together, and she's an intuitive coach, and she's, she's amazing. If anyone's on the North Shore, she holds these events each Tuesday night, I believe, at, at her house. And she's, she's very spiritual, but she's very impactful. And now, she, yeah, now she's making more money in her nine to five. She has two, two young boys. She's down to four days a week. She wants to be able to spend more time with them. And for me to be able to, to say that and, and to help her and just really ignite that fire within her in the beginning and say, yes, you can. Here are the steps. That, that feels good. Who are some of the other people taking action as new coaches? And we've heard from a bunch of the coaches in the room today and a bunch of other people that are kind of considering well, maybe I could do this. Maybe I could use my background in this to, to help other people. Like I said, a lot of mid-career professionals are maybe not making the full transition to, to coaching. The first thing I say for the folks that I'm working with is do not quit your day job if you're currently employed because that would just add more stress. But coaching is something that doesn't have to take up 40 hours in a week. So it can be something that you can add on to what you're doing people looking to add additional revenue streams to their business. What a, what a great way to, there's different couple different models out there about how you can funnel people into your business. If you've got a big, big group of them that you're coaching and mentoring, and then you have a product, there's a bunch of different synergies that you can use there as well. Some of the folks that were in the last group program that I ran, Nicole, who we saw the quote of earlier, she's in Seattle. She's, she's a nurse and she, 100% burnt out over the last couple of years and she hated it. She was about to give it all up, but she went through her own real wellness development for herself and she got out the other side and now she's so passionate about creating programs for, for other nurses. There's a slide on her a little bit more, a little bit later. A woman in Nanaimo created a program for women with, with body image. I don't want to say issues, but body image that they would love to improve their view of their body image because she went through that same challenge herself and now she's helping a group of other women in Nanaimo. Men's groups, I got a, I got a client in North Carolina. He developed a program for dads with dad bods after they have kids. I don't have kids yet, but apparently you're allowed to gain weight after you have kids. He thought that was bullshit. So he created a program to help guys get through that. Another woman used her background in genetics and tied it to coaching. She packages it with her wellness program to help people get ultra healthy. And then, yeah, Cindy, who is an intuitive coach on the North Shore. This so is Shawneen, who I mentioned uh, over in Nanaimo. She, she had this idea, like she had this idea for months and months and months, but she really just needed someone to say, yeah, yeah, you can. Here's, here are the steps that you can take. And within, within two weeks, within two or four weeks or so, she launched a Facebook group and she started putting her content in there. 
and she had 170 people in there. And then a couple of weeks after that, she launched her first beta program where she put pe she brought people through a series of, of weekly programs that she had put together and she did it all online. You know, she was working with people in BC, Alberta, and as well in, in Nanaimo. Now today, today we're gonna go, if anyone's taken notes, this is where, where things start to get even better than they did before. But I'm gonna help you see what the three most common mistakes that new coaches are make with hopes that you do not make them and then can save you a bunch of time and compress time for yourselves and how doing the opposite can help you launch your program. And I've made all of these mistakes, sometimes a couple times. But my promise to you, I'm gonna give you as much as I can within the time that we have here today. There is an offer at the end of this to enroll in the longer program that I have if that resonates with you. If not, this is, you're gonna get a ton of value right here, right now. Mistake number one, this is a big one. This is a big one. And this applies to many other things beyond just coaching as well. But we have this idea, we have this idea, it resonates and percolates in our mind for weeks and months and years sometimes, but there's always a reason to put it off. There's always a reason to put it off. And I found with coaching that the best thing to do is to jump right in. But a lot of new coaches, they'll wait, they'll wait, they'll wait, they'll, they'll do another seminar, they'll do another course, or they'll listen to every single podcast from their favorite podcaster, and then they'll, they'll listen to it again, and then they'll make all the notes, or they'll wait for things that I don't even know what, what they are, Mercury, Mercury Retrograde, if anyone can please educate me on that a little bit later, that'd be great. But this is real analysis paralysis of all these excuses that are holding us back from just getting in and getting, getting started. And the biggest, for me, this has been transformational as well. I, throughout the course of my journey, I have done that. I've taken the courses, I've taken the seminars, I've gotten certified as a coach. I've done all that, but I've done it all in parallel with the doing. I got in the, the game early and I saw where my weaknesses were by doing. I didn't wait until I was 100% ready because I was never, ever going to be 100% ready. Fail fast. This is a painful one. It's a painful one. I fail once a week, once a month sometimes. And I always look back and I'm like, wow, that was a great lesson. I should have paid more money to fail like that. It really sucks at the time. And I never have that mindset at the time. I'm still really working on that. But to find where you fail and to find where you need to improve is the most, one of the greatest gifts that we can have because that really helps accelerate ourselves and our business where we know our weak points are. And you get that by jumping in and just getting started. Again, so this is Nicole, the nurse down in, in Seattle as she created programs for nurses down there. We've been working together almost a year now and she was very, she had this idea. I want to help nurses. I want to help nurses. I want to create these retreats at, at her house. And that was, that's where she started. So it took months and months to build up the courage to do that and, and put together a program and, and attract people to come in and do that. And so she started doing that. She had a couple, a couple people show up at an event in July and then she did it again in August. And then she tried one in September and nobody showed up. And then we kept going. She did another one in October and some more people started showing up. So fast forward to, to just last month, she was down in Mexico co-facilitating uh, an event with another nurse who's doing similar programs. And she was presenting in front of 150 people. And she's really impacting the people that she wants to serve. Now she is creating a retreat in Morocco in July and that was always her dream she loves to travel she wanted to create these international retreats and help nurses at the same time if anyone is into taking photos of amazing quotes this really helps summarize the the first point which is to jump in and not wait what I love to say to the folks that I work with is just really embrace this this messy action embrace this messy, messy action Instead of trying to get 100% or strive for that A+, plus, get it to good enough, get to B+, plus, and then get in the ring, and then keep striving towards the A+. A plus. So embrace the messy action. 
Mistake number two, new coaches lack confidence. This is very important with coaching because coaching is such an intimate relationship. And when, when they don't believe in their services and you don't believe that you can impact and change the lives of, of people, that can really be felt by the people that you are trying to impact. And coaching, if you're on a consultation call or you're presenting in front of a group, that confidence can be felt from the other people that you are speaking to. This can be felt by your prospects, right? If, if, if you're not speaking confidently about what you're offering, nobody's going to enroll with you. The obvious solution, it, 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 it's simple, and that's okay that it's simple, but the, the solution is to do more coaching. And you're like, how the heck do you do more coaching if I don't have more people to coach? One, one of the tricks that's not tricks, but one of the tactics that really works when you're just starting to get going, and that can apply to all sorts of different businesses as well, is what I offer the folks that I work with to do is if you can find five people, you can find five people, get them to commit one hour a week to you, every hour for a month, so four hours, they are, get them to commit to having a coaching call with you. You're going to help them through their problem. And at the end of that, their, their promise to you is they will give you a testimonial because you will help them. You will help them get to a better place. So you will have five testimonials at the end of a month. You're doing this for free. And at the same time, you're going to absolutely grow your confidence. In the beginning, this is so very important. You're going to grow your confidence by having these 20 additional hours that you have impacted other people. And a sidebar on, on coaching. We, we, we heard about good coaches before and bad coaches as well. And again, I've had my experiences with those as well. Happy to chat after about that. But I, I, I firmly believe in, in coaching. And when, one thing that I love to say is for me, and I don't do this, but I may start doing this. But if I go outside of my condo on West 7th and I walk over to the tree and I say, tree, every Tuesday at noon, I'm coming to talk to you for an hour. I'm going to tell you how my week went. I'm going to tell you where I failed. I'm going to tell you where I succeeded. I'm going to tell you what I think I can do better. And tree, tree just sits there. Tree just listens. And the best coaches do way, way more listening than talking. But just by having that accountability, I'd have to probably pay Tree a lot of money so I would be more accountable to show up. But just by, by me showing up and talking, talking through what I've been through over the previous week, that Tree is a good coach. The Tree is a really good coach. And if you can be like the Tree and then be even better, you too. And there's, a, of course, many other different programs that can help facilitate how incredible of a coach you can be. But if you can hold someone accountable and get them to show up and talk about their challenges and talk about their goals and talk, about, talk and think about how they can do better, you too can be an amazing coach. One of the things when the people specifically that I help transition from corporate into becoming entrepreneurs is they have to learn how to sell things, which is very new and super scary. I know it was for me. And you have to get used to hearing the word no. And for someone who is stubborn, I hate that word. I don't like that word. But you have to get used to it. You have to keep making offers. You have to build that muscle. Coach everyone, and I, I, when I edit these slides, I'll put in a, an asterisk on this. I see this all the time, and I did this again for myself. When, when you're new into coaching, it's just changed your life, and you're so passionate about it. Everyone you see on the street, your family, your friends, everyone you meet, you're like, okay, you start asking them these hard questions, and you start asking about their goals, and they're like, piss off. <laughs> Leave me alone, right? I don't, people don't always want to be coached. So if you're going to engage in a coaching conversation, especially with someone who's not picking up the phone and paying you for it, ask permission. May I offer some guidance, some coaching, some mentoring? Would you like to see this from a different angle? And, but do that. Do that in the beginning. People, I, I ask for feedback all the time. And confidence comes in coaching from doing more of the coaching. Coach Rodrigo, 
he is he's one of those guys that got in he was already working as a coach but he wanted to create his own program he was he's an amazing guy he he's writing this trilogy of books that are really based on superheroes and so he wanted to create this superhero coaching program but he had never developed something on his own he had always been working as part of a, an organization but by putting himself out there and continuing continuing to to work with new clients he built the confidence to do this and so he's now created his program he's now he launched his book in uh, last fall and now he's working on his second one and he's speaking on stages and then he found love as well so this confidence in his his coaching really resonated and impacted many other different parts of his life but while a lot of new coaches when they're just creating something and they're getting into the game they, they make this first offer they'll get rejected and it hurts and they'll never try again better way to do is be aware that that is coming have a proper system to follow and then also have that accountability to see it through the end like have that that vision that's just beyond one day have that vision for six months out for where you want to to go this here is really you know really the the high level foundation of the steps to take if one were to create a new program and again that can be a program that you are creating within an existing business that can be something new on the side but really it's it's these six steps to help you get going. Number one, on many things that we do, new ventures that we take is like, why? Why are we doing this? Why, 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 why? And we know Simon Sinek, it, it starts with why, and it's true. I really believe that as well. And the reason that is so important, because things are going to get hard, and you need to return to this why, as to why you are doing this. Why are you taking this new path? Why is this important to you? Number two, own your story. And I love this one. In the program that, that I run, it's, it's, it's business coaching, right? I help you, help you create a program. But within it, there is a lot of, not so subtle, but personal development. That I, that's really more the fun part that I love to see people go through when, when they take it. And it comes out in step number two is where you own your story. And this is really, really important because you need to share your story about why you are creating what you are so you attract the clients that you want to have. You need to share more of your story to position yourself as an expert that overcame that, that challenge. And this is not easy. This is not easy. It took me almost a year to, to, to tell my story about what happened and how I got into coaching and all of that. So it was not instant. But once you do, once you start talking about it, once you start sharing, people resonate with that. They see you as that, as that expert. And then that leads into number three, where you can narrow your niche and, and do your market research. Again, coming back to me and all these mistakes that I made when I, when I first got into it, people are like, so who do you coach? I'm like, I coach everyone. I can change the world. <laughs> doesn't work. doesn't work. We need to be talking and creating our messaging. And this leads into number four, for a very specific band band of, of people. And when you create content and when you have conversations in the street, you're, you're, you're talking as if you're speaking directly to this one group of people. And that's number four, create content that converts. Again, I, I've made a lot of mistakes, but in the beginning I was, I was putting, I'm, I spend most of my time on, on Instagram and I was just putting all this content out there. I'm, I've been traveling around in the Central America. I'm making all these videos on the beach and I'm inspired, right? Because I've just been through something transformative and I'm trying to share. But it didn't make any sense what I was saying. Like, people were inspired and, and, and they felt good, but it wasn't leading them to anywhere. It wasn't leading them to a, a program or to help solve their, their problem at all. So you have to be very specific and clear on the content that you create as if you are talking to that, that one individual, your key client that you are after. And then you have to get in the game. You have to create and deliver that offer. And again, this is where a lot of coaches will wait. They're pretty, they're, they're, they're pretty good with the, with the first four steps, but you have to start making offers. <clears throat> you have to start making offers over and over because many entrepreneurs here know it is a bit of a business uh, numbers game. Lastly, 
And this is so important for, for online coaches because the online world is, is wild. It's completely wild. And there's a lot, of, a lot of things out there that can distract us and a lot of other shiny objects that can pull us off, off track. But when you have a proven method to help launch your system and get your message out there and enroll people in your program, it makes it a lot easier than trying to create something on your own. Last mistake that new coaches make is they try to go it alone. And when I'd say the first thing when you are looking for, for a coach out there, the number one question that you should ask them is who is your coach? Ask your coach who is their coach. And if they say, no, I'm not really into it. That is a red flag. That is a huge red flag. Coaches have coaches like dentists have dentists. I probably have, I, I almost have too many coaches right now. They're I'm sort of tuning a couple of them out because it's just sometimes too much to, to take in. But to be, especially in coaching, if you're trying to enroll people in your programs, you need to be able to, to, to share how you believe in the process. This goes back to, to the Tony image earlier. You can only take people as far as you can, can go and you can continually level up your skills, especially in, in business. If you're in business coaching, you take people up to a certain level. You're like, this is great. I'm really impacting them. Now I want to go higher as well and I want to teach other people how I did it. Coaching is incredible for, for two ways, two reasons. One, it collapses time. It collapses time. When you have someone that's made the mistakes before you and can see a couple steps ahead of you, it will save you six months, one year, whatever it may be. Coaches collapse time. Number two, coaches offer a different perspective. And this is what we were talking about earlier, where even though you know, I'm good at certain things, I, 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 can't, I need a mirror. I need someone, someone looking at what I'm doing from, from the outside. I need this different perspective. So if you are out there looking for a coach to help you get to the next level, just know they're going to help you collapse time and they're going to help offer this different perspective on what you are creating. Wherever you are, if you're in, in business or, in, or you're looking for an aspect of your life to improve, you can do it. You can figure it out on your own. But if you want to collapse time, look for that, look for that right mentor. And again, I love going back to the comment in the beginning, you really have to have someone you trust. Coaching, it all comes down to trust. Like I, I run a program, I'm about to tell you about it. You will not be a millionaire at the end of an eight week program. You will not, you won't, forget it. If someone tells you you can, no way, not a chance. So you have to find the right mentor and everyone's looking for different areas in my life. I, one of my favorite mentors right now is my swim coach because she's literally kicking my ass. Tuesday and Thursday morning, and I would not show up, even though it's $11. I would not show up at seven in the morning if I didn't pay that $11. But she's been so good to me because she gets me out of bed and gets me going faster, and now I'm catching the other guys, and they're pissed off. <laughs> we'll wrap up here talking about the program that I have to offer. If this resonates with anyone, I'd love to serve you on a higher level. I've given them as much as I can, and I'm here for as long as you guys after, are afterwards to answer any questions about coaching and mentoring and the whole, how it all folds together. But program that I offer, it's, it's live. And this is why I love it. I do it. I do it live. I do it over on Zoom, so it's online. But there's a ton of programs out there, and I've bought and taken some of them where it's just videos. And I don't get a lot out of that. So I don't offer that. So the beautiful part about my program is that it's live and I do it and I'm there and I can answer your questions. Comment that I often get is, what if I'm in another program already? And this is Tim, the, the dad bod guy. Absolutely, that's great. If you are, like I said, I'm in multiple programs right now, but there are certain things that I get from some, some programs that are great, but I don't get them from other. I need to get it from somewhere else. So it's, it's, it's common to be a part of multiple programs. What's included in the training that I offer, it's an eight week program. And this live training, like I mentioned, allows, allows for live time, lot, real time Q and A. One of the beautiful parts about this, you saw the photo earlier on where we we're all in the Zoom call where people are smiling because they're smiling because they've gotten to know each other when we share our stories and we put ourselves out there. 
and this community, which is really, really important for people just getting into the game and coaching the support community where you can see other people having these same challenges. It's, it's priceless because we're all in the beginning, new coaches are going through these same tough things and to go through it with other people is great. Proven curriculum to guide you. Got a whole bunch of success stories from folks that went through the program. Happy to tell you all about them after. You've heard about some of them before. If you can't make some of the live calls, there's recordings, absolutely. Proven template, as I mentioned, for your first launch. And this is, this is scripts. This is things you put on social media. This is emails that you sent out. It, it's all the stuff. It's everything that I've used. I, I give it up and I share with everyone. There's, there's nothing held back. Structure for your social media content. This is one of the biggest things to, to have eyeballs on, on what you are saying, what you are putting out there. Because this, I, I don't like this and I've been there. I, I've been this person sitting at the desk frustrated on, on what, like I knew what I wanted to do. I knew what I wanted to create. I knew how I wanted to impact people. But for the longest time, you know, between that first coach that I had and these other programs that I'm in now, there was a gap because I was trying to do it alone and I really wasted a lot of time and I could have impacted more people and helped more people during that time. If for me, if I wasn't so stubborn, but this, this scene, like I've been there and this is what I'm really trying to help people avoid. Alternative is to work with me privately. That's 20,000. This program's 997 us dollars. And again, lifetime, lifetime investment. I like people to see how, what they get out of this. And again, you get the community of people that you work with. You get that confidence that you've built up and you've started something and you've put yourselves out there and you've impacted the lives of other people. So beyond the, the program, these skills will stay with you for life. Complete Coach Program is 997 I throw in free the online training program, which is a recording, a previous recording of all the modules that we've gone through already. And this is the common thing that I hear back from people that are just getting into coaching. Like I have no idea how to coach others. To solve that problem, I put together this three-part video training that's part of this package. <laughs> and this really guides you with five amazing questions that in the beginning will guide your, your calls that you have with your new clients. Talk about how to apply active listening so you can be like a tree, but not so much. And then the number one thing that will take you from a good coach to a great coach. Again, super common for folks in the corporate world that are getting into starting their own, their first entrepreneurial journey. They don't know anything about selling. I didn't either. But I had to learn. I had to take other programs and I de developed a methodology that, that works. And so I put, included this in a two-part video training on effective enrollment. And this helps you sell without being salesy. You know, everyone that I help is really coming from a plate. They're really heart-centered. They want to help people. They've been through something. They've been through some challenges. And they don't want to come across as salesy. Neither do I. And so there's a process, there's a script that I've put together through different methodologies and different teachings that I've gone through that helps them do this. And I like to help them see how they're not being salesmen, but they're, they're effectively enrolling people in their programs. If you have a program, and if you've been through something, if you develop something, and you know it can be helpful and impact people, it's up to you to get them in that program. Their life is going to change if they get through this program. So you need to, you need to be able to think what they're thinking and what objections they may have. Because if they don't get in your program, they're not going to get their problem solved. They're going to go in another program, which is probably not as good as yours, or they're not going to do anything at all. So you're here to help them solve their problem. Another challenge that folks have when they're just getting going because it's a online work for the most part, they don't have a following. They're like, where are my, where are my clients going to come from? And when I, when I first got into to coaching again, my main, main avenue is through, through Instagram. And I had, I had 700 followers or so. 
And then by everything that I've learned and everything that I've gone through and I've learned how to build that up to, and I'm over 13,000 now. And that's where I get most of my, my clients from. And this, so I've included this program, it's called Find Your Tribe. It's a group, it's a listing of seven videos that help you put your message out there. And it, it's for Instagram, but it really applies to the other social media networks as well. We talk about how to create your best biography, how to structure your post, how to use all the features on Instagram, the stories and the highlights, what hashtags work, what don't, automations and which ones to absolutely avoid wasting your money with, and then just how important engagement is as well. It's absolutely huge, especially on Instagram. Again, so everything I learned to grow my followers to over 13,000, this program helped, this bonus program, these bonus videos help you create content that actually speaks to your target audience. And you get to learn all the, the features of Instagram. And the last one, the last one is, is, is one of the more beautiful parts of the, the transformations that people get when they go through my program is they all overcome this video, this fear of doing video for their social media networks. Like me, I, None of the coaches that I have hired, I will never hire them unless I've, I know them and like them and trust them. And you get that by watching video. If people are not in front of you, you have to do video. You have to see how people talk and move and see if you can trust them. It's so, so important in coaching and I would say in, in many other entrepreneurial businesses as well. So all of those are gifts that are included <clears throat> in the program. You've got the online training videos. You got the coach call training, got the infective enrollment, and then you find your tribe. So all those gifts are $2,500 value that are included. Complete coach program 997. If anyone is interested, love to serve you and help you get, get going and help you impact other people. You can talk to me afterwards to sign up or the URL is bit.ly slash complete coach. Doors close on this actually tomorrow because I'm starting the program this week. 100% risk guarantee. If, if you sign up, you don't like it, then 30 days, complete money back guarantee, nothing to lose. So I wanted to end with, with this. These are more, these are more images that, that I've lived over this whole coaching journey. I've been able to impact people. I've been able to speak in front of them. I've been able to travel to amazing places. I've been able to get tattoos, not really part of it, but it's, this, is, this is the great life that I've been able to live since that, that, that tough picture that I showed in the beginning. And the transformation that I've been through and how I can share it with, with other people has been, been that, that more that I have, was always after myself. Lastly here, online offer and for anyone here as well, if you go to my website, michaeltranmer.com, you can put in your information, put in your email, and you'll get this free ebook about these seven steps, more detail on the ones that I mentioned earlier about how to, to launch your coaching business. And that's it. Complete coach, if anyone's interested, love to serve you. Over to you. <laughs> Michael, thank you. You've taught me more about coaching, coaching than I could possibly ever imagine. Your mouth is full, Roger. Such a short amount of time. Thank you. And thank you also for Envision Coworking. You have made this production possible. Good night, all. <laughs>